Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come in, come in, come in. This is Tamika Zen. I am Tamika, and this is the Shy, y'all. Okay, this Christmas, all right, season five, episode three. So we start out this episode with Darnell behind sitting here. <laughs> Taking his pants down, got these flowers, and he is basically trying to do, you know, a little photo shoot for Jada. <laughs> Talking about, yeah, Merry Christmas, Jada. All right, and the camera is basically click, 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 click. Okay, so she's sitting here going through the phone, and in the meantime, Suede is putting up the tree. He's putting up all the decorations on the tree. He's telling her, you know... We gonna go to your family house, then we go into my family house. Then if you're not too tired, I was thinking about us coming home and sipping on some spiked eggnog and just spending the rest of the night in each other's arms. And so she's like, that sounds like a really long day. And he is like, yeah, but you know, he's into family. So he really want them to spend Christmas with family and then New Year's will be just for her. And he was thinking that they could probably go to Cabo and they could just be them. And she's like, oh. And so she then sees the picture from Darnell and she's like, ah, <laughs> and he's like, what? She's like, oh, no, it's just a meme. And then he basically starts laughing or whatever the case may be. And it's like, OK, so, you know, they're going to go ahead and put this black angel at the top or whatever. And, you know, she playing the role. But I think Jada is pretty much over Suede. OK, I think Suede has run his course and i don't think they are gonna be going on too much longer but we shall see you know you got there going emmett still here listening to you know i forget the guy name <laughs> whatever d ray okay talking about this celibacy thing he's still riding with that he's still listening to him and you know in the meantime he's also trying to excuse me put the decorations up at his house right he's doing his tree and stuff like that and so he's repeating after him you know his dick deserves better and all this other stuff so now here comes tiff calling him right and he answers her call he really didn't want to and she's basically saying that she's sorry that she missed his call what's up and he was like well he wanted to get ej for christmas eve he want all the boys to be together want them to wake up together for christmas right and he already got them all the presents and getting everything set up so she was like, oh, you really think you black Santa, huh? He was like, ho, 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 okay. So she was like, well, you know, he told her he's having some folks over. And he wanted her to come too because EJ's never had a Christmas where they both wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? With him or whatever. So she's basically like, well, I'll come if I could bring Rob. And he like, come on now. Now you want to bring him? He was like, so now y'all together, whatever the case may be. I thought that. You know what I'm saying? He was just supposed to be a business partner. And he's basically, you know, at first bitching, you know, basically like he's a supplier. So she's like, well, I'm not leaving my man at home and you got to respect him and all this stuff. I said, girl, bye. You know, she saw, he said, well, fine, as long as, you know what I'm saying, he respects my house. And then she talking about some boy, bye. So if you getting on my nerves, okay? But nonetheless, we moving right along. So we have the kids in class, you know. And talking about NFT, talking about a secret Santa, you know, um, basically Papa is still getting heat, right? Nobody is feeling him in his apology that he gave. And Kevin is telling him, you might feel ostracized right now, but this is going to pass. Don't worry about it. And he's like, thanks, Kev. And Kevin's like, you know, no problem, bro. And so then we see that. You know, basically, he sent something to the girl that's basically saying, or she sent something to him that was basically saying, I'm over the moon for you. And then he's looking at her, and she's looking at him, and, you know, they both do this little smile or whatever. So we see that this is probably going to be Kevin's new boo thing. You know, we got Trig and Tracy going to this um, center and talking about all the stuff that they need and how you had over 500 people RSVP and they like well we're not going to be able to have it for all of those daggone people so of course they will have to turn some people away and all they could do is the best that they could do and they like you know Trig basically was like do you want to say a little prayer before we go in and she was like for real and he was like yeah so 
she was like hell yeah so he came over to her and they hold hands or whatever and they just was asking you know please god let us get everything that we need let us be covered and you know what i'm saying like show me the way show me if i'm doing the right thing and all that kind of stuff saying that they need this miracle and so you know let everybody that needs to be fed be able to be fed and anything that could happen they would be grateful so when they walk in okay Mr. Duda is sitting there all in red like he's Santa Claus, okay? We seeing stuff all over the place, you know, toys, a tree, clothes, coats, and all of that, right? Filled up in there. So they like looking, of course, you know, Trig ain't too happy with this, all right? And so they first was going back and forth about it, and he was like saying, who bought all this stuff? And then Tracy had to interrupt them from arguing back and forth and was like at the end of the day I think we should be thankful God did answer our prayers so Trig basically was like you know thank you and so he's asking him did he come to any decision yet and he's like no he's still thinking about it so Duda lets him know well don't think too long because there's a meeting later this afternoon and he basically walks away from him so Victor's just like ah you know I got to get used to calling him Victor and not Trig. It's going to take me some time, y'all. And so, then Zuzah's walking over to Tracy, and he's like, well, well, well. And so, she was like, don't think this is going to get you some. And he was like, listen, I don't know. I need to get you things to be able to get some, all right? You know, but he claims he did all of this out the kindness of his heart. Yeah, okay, Zuzah, what damn heart, all right? And so, she was like, well, you know... Um, she does thank him for this or whatever the case may be and you know they sitting here doing some flirting he talking about some you know what he, he got something that could fit inside this stocking okay and so when can he go ahead and give her that and then she basically started smiling you know he was saying he needs to find somewhere that he could put it and so you have, you know, Kevin telling Jake and them that he think he's in love. And, and Jake was like, again, and he was like, yeah, you keep your damn, you know what I'm saying, eyes off of her. And he was like, I got enough to deal with. And so basically, you know, um, Lene is telling him, I got a cousin just like you, okay, trifling. And he was like, all right, well, you know, we all got stuff with us. And they was all seeing how all their families is messed up or whatever. And she was like, yeah, but at least y'all got a family. And you know what I'm saying? People that y'all could be with for Christmas or whatever. So Kevin was like, you're not going to link up with your brother. And she was like, nah, it's been a while or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That she haven't been able to link up with him. So Jake tells her, don't worry about it. That he's going to hit her up. And she was like, I hope so. And then you could see Kevin just looking, you know what I'm saying? Thinking about it or whatever. So you have, um, you know, Victor's just trying to break it down and do down. Let him know. He's not going to be no sellout. He's not going to be lying and playing games. And Zuda, of course, is telling him no matter what, everybody has to lie to a certain degree when you're trying to be a um, politician, you know. Zuda also was saying that he could get them some matching pajamas. He was like, you know, I've been looking at your Instagram and all you got up there is inspirational notes and things about, you know, basketball or whatever the case may be. And that's it. And so when he was saying he could get the pajamas, his niece was basically like, listen, I already went and bought the daggone pair of pajamas. All right, I got them ready. All we got to do is put them on and go ahead and take these pictures. Okay, she's already ahead of the game. You know, you have Miss Peaches. Okay, Victor's mom show up and she's talking about she didn't mean to interrupt. You know, she coming to bring him in some food. And um, <clears throat> when he introduced her to the girl, she over here talking about some you know she because the girl just volunteered like oh i'm victor's new girlfriend she was like oh well aren't you a sight for sore eyes and she was like asking victor why he'd been keeping it a secret and he was like well i just wanted to make sure before i told you anything and she was like well this bitch is perfect <laughs> and then she was like i'm sorry i didn't mean to call you a bitch i was like damn ghetto okay so she was like but anyway i'm gonna let you get back to work and then she ends up turning around again and telling him like you know, I'm really proud of you. She was like, you know what I'm saying? You did a big switch around. I never thought I would see this day. You here helping your community. You know what I'm saying? You raising your little brother. She was like, 
just you know like shad would have liked you to and then she was like you got this big beautiful woman in your life you know black woman in your life or whatever so she told him she's proud of him and she was like now that's it she was like y'all do look good together too and so you know what i'm saying Duda was like yeah they do and so she was like all right this is all the christmas gift i need and then she said that she gonna go ahead and leave and so um when she leaves Victor turns around and signs this NDA and I'm like, I hope you know what you're doing, Mr. Victor, okay? I hope you know what you're doing, all right? Who Lord, because we know that this is going to end up being a mess, all right? And so after he signed the NDA or whatever have you, you know, dude, I'm smiling and he talking about something. You made the right decision. I say, yeah, okay, if you say so. And we have, you know, Keisha where... She's sitting and talking with um, Tiff, you know, and they're just talking about how it is to be, you know, these single moms and everything that's new that's going on in their life. And, of course, you know what I'm saying, she's still saying that they got to be able to blend these families together sooner or later. She was like, yeah, but you seem like you're going kind of fast. And she was like, how would you feel if Emmett moved on? She's like, well really i don't think i would care whatever the case may be you know what i'm saying it wouldn't bother me at all so i said mm -hmm, keisha are you asking for a friend all right and so she was saying she wouldn't care whatever she was like you know we've been to hell and back and that's that on that and so keisha basically was like okay so she was like she already signed the divorce paper she was like yeah girl we done and so keisha was like damn girl the end of an era and she was like yeah everything must come to an end she was like isn't that what you told christian so she was like no actually i told christian that we need to be friends and he read me the film she was like yeah girl he was upset cause you know, and Tiff was like, what? What happened? What he said? She was like, but he still was a gentleman, though. So here come Rob walking in. He giving her a kiss and picking up the baby. And Keisha telling him, you know, I heard good things about you. And Rob is basically like, you know, she was telling Rob that they was going to have tomorrow night to themselves. And he was like, oh, yeah, no kids. He was like, well, shit, then we got to go out. And so... You know, Keisha was like, yes, that would be a good idea. She was like, I know anytime I get a break, I'll take a minute. So she, you know, Tiff over here took him on, no, we ain't got to go nowhere. And she was like, look, if we ain't got no, he was like, look, if we ain't got no kids, then we might as well take advantage of it. And so she was like, all right, then I'm going to put together an outfit. All right, fine. So I'm like, okay, because I just feel like Tiff is wasting everybody's time, to be quite honest, right? But anyway, moving on along. And so then we have Kevin. He goes, sees to see, goes to see Victor. And he basically wants to know if there's any way that he could get in touch with Lene's brother. You know, he's basically saying how he really want to surprise her for Christmas. And at first, Victor's like, listen, I don't know if we could do that or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I will try my best and look into it. But I can't make no promises. And, you know, um... Kevin is like, okay, you know, thank you. That's all I could ask. I really appreciate it. And he got ahead about his business or whatever. So we then had, you know, Papa. He coming in with these trays from um, the chicken spot or whatever, right? Sonny's. And he's basically, you know, trying to do this apology, another apology video, right? And trying to show that. He's giving back to the community that he's bringing these trays. You know, he's talking about how he's um, streaming from Papa's Pool Pool Port, whatever his um, podcast name is. He's bringing this stuff from Smokies. He wants to show his token of love. He wants to give back to the community. He loves the community, you know, and he was like, that's what Christmas is all about is the reason for the season and all of that kind of stuff. And he want to get as close to Jesus as he can. And he was like, we all deserve food. And, you know, I'm saying things of that nature, shelter, love, whatever, and most of all, forgiveness. And so he was like, happy holidays, everybody. And when he says that, he ends up dropping the daggone food all over the floor. So, you know, what I'm saying Maisha's like, Papa, you got to stop. She was like, let me go get some napkins. So he's picking up the stuff. And we have Bakari come over like, yo, what the heck are you doing? And he was like, I was trying to be a good Samaritan. And he basically was like, so how did that go? And Papa's like, how do you think? And he was like, my bad player. So he was like, well, do you want to smoke? And Papa basically says, yeah, and goes off with him. And I'm like, I hope they not about to do what I think they about to do. Because I've always liked the fact that Papa kind of 
just was like not a follower had his own mind spoke his truth or whatever the case may be and was positive and it seemed like they about to take him down a whole nother road now okay so we have um jada you know she was here like going through these clothes or whatever the case may be and putting clothes up away in the closet and she comes across this ring so apparently sway must be thinking about marrying her and he comes in the room and catches her in the middle of her you know basically trying to hide it back and where she got it from and then he's like are you okay you know what i'm saying she's like oh no i'm fantastic i'm just you know kind of feeling the christmas spirit and he like okay and looking at her kind of weird or whatever but she's trying to play it off she don't want him to know that she found the ring you know and so now she's like oh lord this boy about to you know what i'm saying propose to me so we have um you know Dre and them is basically at the house. They supposed to be having something there for Christmas. So we also kind of see in like one minute they showing Dre in them house. And the next minute they showing Emmett and them at the same time. And we have him and Keisha talking on FaceTime. And you know she's basically asking him how he's been. And he's like you know nobody's ever really asked me that. Because he was getting kind of offensive about it at first. And she was like, no, I just want to know. And he was like, well, I'm living a single life. I'm trying to be a better father to my kids. She was like, I know. She was like, I know that too. He's like, yeah, I'm also trying to be celibate. So at first she started laughing. So he was like, see, that's why I don't be telling nobody nothing. And she was like, no, nah, that's good though. He was like, it is, you think so? She was like, yeah. So <clears throat> we see that, you know, Emmett and Keisha have always been able to talk. They always been friends. That was never an issue for them. And we seeing that this chemistry is kind of coming back, okay? So then we have the ladies come over to Dre and them, you know. We have Jada and um, Tracy come over, and they talking about how they got these holiday pre-rolls. You know, they got some CBD oil. They got some freaking um, spiked eggnog going on, all right? They got some snacks, honey. They is coming in prepared, all right? They all got on their little Christmas sweaters and Christmas hats and different stuff like that. And they are ready to get it in. And so... You know, Lene and um, Kevin was trying to come and be nosy. And they was like, oh, no, 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 no. Y'all got to find some place to be, okay? They trying to kick them out. They like, this is grown folks time. We having a grown folks party, all right? And then um, Keisha's like going behind them as well with the baby. And they was like, well, where the hell you going? And you know you could leave him here. He's already sleeping. And she's like, no, I'm okay. I'm going to go. And so her mother was basically like, listen, I'm going to call you. Don't take too long. Like, hit us up and let us know that you got there safe and where you going and all of that kind of stuff when you get there. At the same time, we see in Tiff and Rob in the skating ring. And to be honest, Rob actually seems like he's a decent guy. You know, to me, they still both trying to move too fast. And to me, personally, Tiff is just wasting his damn time. You know, she's still bringing up to him as they sit in here. And he taking her skates off about some. So would you be mad if I be with somebody else? Like, did he already go over this with you? So why are you bringing it up again? I'm not understanding this if you expect the answer. You know what I'm saying? To change. He's telling her how he's the black sheep of the family. He don't believe in going home for Christmas. He was like, why do so many people, you know what I'm saying, basically run home when they don't have to or just to please other people because that's what society says that you're supposed to do and all of that kind of stuff. And she was like, well, that's because you don't have no kids that you could feel that way. Way, but I have a baby trust me if I don't go home and take that baby to see you know what I'm saying his grandma she would have a fit or whatever and he was saying that he basically do what he want to do and all of that but um you know she did bring up again like what would you do if I want other people and he was like look I already told you what I want so it's a matter of whether you want that too you know what I'm saying I'm not into all of that I want you to myself i want to have a monogamous relationship either you want that or you don't and so you know at first she was trying to be like are you judging me because i want to be with other people and he was like i'm not judging nobody and she was like would you consider it and he's like no i'm a traditional nigga she was like but what do that mean girl what you think it mean you ain't that damn slow you know it's like he already said it before so i like again i just feel like Tiff don't know what the hell she want and I feel like she wasting her own time and she wasting everybody else's time too. We then had Kevin and his little friend Simone on a date, you know what I'm saying, or out to eat or whatever. You know, they talking about um 
the planets and they talking about whether she like games or not she says she don't like you know what i'm saying violent games she like anime anime games um you know he ends up telling her to close her eyes that he got a gift for her because at first they were sitting there kind of quiet and awkward and he was like you don't talk much do you and she was like oh that's what people that what she said i forgot that's what people that you know can't comprehend certain things or something like that would say when you know what i'm saying you're being quiet and i'm like uh okay girl so he ends up telling her to um you know close uh, close her mouth i mean close her mouth he ends up telling her to close her eyes or whatever and he was like i got you something so she closes her eyes and when she opens them or whatever he had um this book for her or whatever and it basically was octavia octavia butler book and he was she was like oh wow you know what i'm saying i love these books i was just reading it he was like i know i saw you with it in class the other day so i went and got it for you so she was like oh wow thank you and he was like you like it and she was like yeah i like it a lot and he was like you know maybe we can hang out sometime during this break and she said yeah as long as my grandmother says it's okay i'm down with it so he was like okay cool so you know you have jada and them all hugged up or whatever not jada dre and them hugged up and they was basically like look at these lovebirds they was like how do y'all do it how do y'all make it work and they was basically saying you know therapy and that they suggest therapy to anybody so she was like shoot maybe me and Sway, you know this is what jada says maybe me and Sway need to go ahead and do dag on therapy and um you know here we have tracy start talking about you know, she don't know what to do as far as Duda goes. And they like, oh, Lord, you know what I'm saying? What happened now? You know? And so they um all had started laughing because she was like, I don't know if me and Duda is a couple. And then they was asking her how she feel about him and stuff like that and saying, like, what do you want it to be? So she was like, I don't know. I want to be like y'all. And they was, you know, I want to be normal. And she was like, yeah, good luck. You know, they telling her good luck with her, that. And they was like, bottom line, do you love him, you know? And they was like, you know, it's basically kind of taking you too long to answer. She was saying she don't know. And they was like, well, maybe you should figure that out first, honey. And, you know, sometimes you got to go ahead and work on you and figure out what's going on with you before you start worrying about what's going on as a couple, which is definitely true, okay? And so she was like, well, another thing is that he's married. And they was like, yeah, there is that, all right? And so, in the process of all of that going on, of course, Miss Jada lets them know, like, well, I think Sway might be getting ready to propose to me, okay? I done found this ring that he has. So, they ask her how big is the ring, is the ring beautiful, and all of that kind of stuff. And she's like, yeah, actually, you know what I'm saying, it's real pretty or whatever. And so, <clears throat> um... They was like, oh, man, what? So they was like, well, what are you going to say if he asks? Like, you know what I'm saying? How are you feeling about this? And she's like, I don't know. And they was like, you know, you taking too long. What's going on? You taking too long. And she was like, you know, this is a big life decision. And she was like, I'm just saying. And she was like, you know, Nina tells her, tell the truth, shame the devil. Are you still thinking about Darnell? And so at first, Jada, I mean, Dre is like, what? But when they look at her, they like, wait a minute. Oh, shoot. Yeah, she is. She thinking about him. So I don't know why Jada is thinking about Darnell, but obviously they still have some type of connection going on. She's telling him that, you know, telling them that he sent this dick pic out to her. And they like, why you didn't put it in the group chat? You know, Tracy saying she feel left out. And of course, Dre is like, listen, nobody don't want to see that. Okay. And so <laughs> they all started laughing about that. Now, in the meantime, Swade is at the house, and I guess Jade got, Jada got her dad on tablet connected to her phone. So any messages that go to her phone go to the tablet. That's why you can't be doing that, girl. So Swade knows he behind. Go ahead and open it up and look. And, of course, he must have seen the freaking <laughs> dick pics. And he's like, oh, hell no. So he go running out. And then we have Keisha come over to Emma's house saying she's came, you know, came there to help him, whatever the case may be. She got the baby. Soon as she come in, she put in on, you know what I'm saying, the preacher's wife for the boys. 
she's basically telling them she gonna go ahead and make them hot chocolate she tells Emmett you know what I'm saying you get the snack she's like I'm trying to help you out so that way we could go ahead and get to be able to get them to bed and I could help you with some of these daggone gifts or whatever the case may be right and they keep having these little moments where they just looking into each other eyes I'm like we all see what's going down we all see what's coming y'all can just stop trying to play it off okay you know he tell her he gonna go ahead and change the baby so she go ahead to make the you know what i'm saying cups of coffee in the meantime robin tiff come in and he done has somebody come near to decorate and she's like well why would you do that she was like that's a part of us being able to bond and he was like yeah but it's exhausting so she's gonna talk about some well you know what i'm saying i appreciate the sentiment but next year I want us to be able to, you know what I'm saying, decorate ourselves together. And so he was like, oh, well, if you already saying next year, then you think we're going to be together. And then they start kissing all on each other, whatever, you know. And I'm like, yeah, girl, whatever. Okay. So then we have Sway go and punch the mess out of Darnell. And he basically asking him if he's still in love with her. And Darnell was like, you need to ask her if she's still in love with me. He's like, listen, I'm asking you. And he's like, yes, I've always loved her since the first time I saw her. He was like, well, too bad, so sad. Okay, your time has passed. <laughs> Essentially, that's what he was saying to her, right? And he was like, nobody is born perfect. He made mistakes or whatever the case may be. But like I said, he told her, well, you know, it's too late. And then he was like, well, you got to let her decide that. And Darnell told him, you lucky that you caught me off guard or else I would have knocked your ass out. Because <laughs> Sway got him good. Okay. So we basically had where, you know, the ladies is all passed out on the couch and stuff like that. Kevin comes in and give his mom a kiss. You know, Emmett done put the kids to bed. He come back out. He's finishing off this bike. You know, Keisha's finishing off this present. And they basically have this moment where he's like, thank you. And you're such a godsend. You're such a blessing or whatever the case may be that you came over here and helped me or whatever. And he takes her hand. And the next thing you know, they share a kiss that we all knew was going to happen. Now, this is going to be awkward. Because now and her and damn um, Tiff have became friends. When he was messing with her before, they wasn't really friends. So I know Tiff is saying like, oh, he moved on. I signed the divorce papers. It don't matter. Da, da, da. But I got a feeling this is going to be a problem. Okay. I'm just saying because this going to go down. All right. And so then he's like, I'm sorry it's getting late. And he pulled back from the kitchen. She's like, yeah, you're right. And so he was like, do you need a ride? And she was like, no, I'm going to just go ahead and take a Uber. He's like, you sure? And then he just still standing there looking awkward or whatever. So when she's riding home in the Uber, she got this smile on her face like, that's who you wanted, Keisha. You ain't want Christian. You still want an Emmett, girl. I see you. So, you know, he's laid back on the sofa, whatever the case may be. You know, you got Tracy waking up to text from Zuda and her running home to go get some from him or whatever the case may be. And you have um, Darnell just sitting there by himself, basically looking at these yearbook photos. You know what I'm saying? Reminiscing. You got Papa still outside with um Bakari smoking and him telling him you know you can't care about what people think or whatever and Papa saying that he never got that advice before and he's like yo check this out he was like man listen forget about what people think all right do you at the end of the day you'll be much happier and so I don't know what direction we going in with Papa okay but he tells him Merry Christmas and then Bakari's like man yo whatever you know what I'm saying and so we then see like Jake with his mom and them watching the preacher's wife too. And we seeing um Victor taking these pictures with these matching tag on pajamas. First he looking like he don't really want to take it. Then he start getting into it. Then we have Rob waking T Tiff up telling her he got Christmas gifts. But all the Christmas gifts is basically different name brand bag shoes whatever and she's like i'm not into that he was like what's wrong you don't like your gifts and she was like no i do but she was like i'm not really into this this just looks like you went out and bought me a bunch of expensive shit and he was like uh yeah that's what i did and she was like instead of things that 
what really means something to me she was like it just feels basic i'm more so not really into brands and bags and stuff like that i'm into thoughtful gifts and so then she ends up bending over and picking up a gift she had to decide for him because he was basically like i'm sorry and she was like nah don't apologize or whatever you know she tells him she's sorry he was like nah don't apologize you like what you like so then when she gives him his gift it ended up being like this little stuff freaking sheep black sheep or whatever because of the fact that him telling her that he's the black sheep of the family so she was asking him if he liked it and he was singing yeah and they was all kissing and i'm like whatever girl so then we had Jada just, you know what I'm saying, getting up, making her some coffee or whatever. And we have Mr. Darnell come knocking at the door. And of course, she trying to creep out and be quiet because Sway's still in the bed sleeping. And Darnell is basically telling her he's always loved her. You know, he loves her. He made a mistake. He knows that he made a mistake. He always have, you know, um, he didn't know how to love her, her properly when he was younger and he's hoping that she would give him the chance for him to love her right now you know what i'm saying and actually praying for her to give the chance for him to love right now so she's like are you serious are you being real right now and then he's like uh yep i sure am he was like you know what i'm saying serious as my, as my earpiece so she was like that's pretty serious so i'm just like oh jada 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 okay we see where that's going to, right? And so then she goes back in the house and he leaves or whatever. So basically, you know, you having Jake and them having this breakfast or whatever, you know, Victor, his mom, and, and um, Jake and all them there, they got this dad going, pancakes, eggs, bacon, baby. Mama done got it in, all right? And um, we got um, Rashad there as well. And they saying that, you know, just them being together and being a family is all they need. Jake basically gave her a gift of this picture of them when he was a baby or whatever that she had left there. And he always wanted to get, um, you know, uh, get it framed. And she was saying they got to take some more pictures together. You have Rashad's little friend that he likes show up and she done bought him this shirt and he was like all right now you know what i'm saying thank you or whatever because you know i wasn't gonna buy it i only get certain type of things and then he give her her christmas gift and it's basically a cassette tape and she's like oh wow a cassette tape all right you made me a mixtape and he's like yeah so here come victor yeah he got you a little cassette decade you know cassette deck to go with it so she was like oh this is really vintage you going back and they laughing and he was like you trying to be funny aren't you yeah because ain't nobody making no damn cassette tapes no more boy but i'm not mad at you because y'all don't wouldn't believe i still got some cassette tapes in here in my house all right and so he says he put together these you know what i'm saying songs for her and just ignore the dj because sometimes he comes in before the song is over but she gets the point and she was like wow this is the most romantic gift i've ever gotten so they go ahead he invites her to sit down and have breakfast with them so i was like oh this is too sweet and things is going too good so we know we're gonna have to be some mess soon you know you have Duda wake up and he see he in the bed by himself so he go looking for tracy and she's basically just standing you know looking out the window feeling down because of course it still is christmas time and she still is thinking about her son you know what i'm saying so they decide that they're gonna go head out and spend time together or whatever the case may be you know you have jada sit down with um suede and tell him the fact that she found the ring and he's like okay so you know what i'm saying what are you thinking and she was like you know i'm thinking that i don't know that this is like right for us or the right direction i think we got a lot of things that we gotta figure out before we get engaged and he was like does this have anything to do with you know what i'm saying to now and she was like no it has to do with us okay jada you know you can tell me the truth girl all right and so she says though that it has to do with them and that they just really need to find out where they're going and they don't need to rush into anything and she was like i'm so sorry you know and um he was like you know because she did say to him they don't have to rush into anything just because they're in a rut and he was she was he was like that's what you think 
And she was like, I'm sorry. So she was trying to give him the ring and he didn't reach for it. So then she put it down on the table. And he basically says, Merry Christmas, picks it up off the table. And he go ahead and walk out and, you know, leave. And then she just sitting there crying. And I'm like, ah, you know, I'm broke Sway's heart, girl. You know, I'm broke Sway's heart. So then we had, you know, Tracy and Zuda and the skating ring. And we had, um, you know, Dre and them at the house. And Layla come and she brought this album. And they were saying she stopped over to spend Christmas with them. Because, you know, basically her flight or whatever. And so we hear a knock at the door and... You know, Kevin is thinking that it's Victor bringing Lene's brother or whatever, but come to find out he done got arrested, okay? He's awaiting trial for this murder, so he won't be coming. You know, Tim does bring um, Rob there, and at first Emmett is just like, uh, whatever, you know? But then he's like, come in, happy holidays. He takes this wine that Rob brung from him, you know, it's a little awkward, they telling him the place is nice and then Tiff is like you did all this by yourself and he's like I had a little help and she looking at him funny yeah he had Keisha girl he had Keisha come over all right and so you know his mom basically tells him like look at you I would have never thought I would have seen the day that you would have been having Christmas here like I'm really proud of you and how everything is coming together and she gives him a big hug and they both say Merry Christmas to each other and so not too far after that of course his father father comes and he got gifts for the kids too or whatever the case may be and he come walking in and so they basically like you know grandma and granddad is standing under the mistletoe together and so they like y'all got a kiss right and so at the same time um you know Emmett was like nah they ain't got a kiss or whatever next thing you know baby they was tonguing down and they wouldn't stop okay and so one minute he was like stop it what's going on y'all then he went from that so let me get a picture of this and he basically sends the picture to Keisha and she's like what what's going on where's Sway and he like mm -hmm. and so he was like I wish you was here and she was like maybe one day I will be and that's how I went off with her smiling I said yeah we see y'all we already knew that that was gonna go down but what did y'all think about this episode you liked it you didn't like it you know how we do let's discuss put it all in the comments okay and like share comment subscribe 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 till next time